Hey there guys, it's me Rusty. No dumb intro today, because I don't know, I don't really have the words. So I was looking through the three to play, the free to play games like I do, to find something to play. And I stumbled across this one. It appears to have come out today, it's this 16th of December. But it's only just appeared on the store page and just just the bare bones information on the store page here. Look, look at that. Malhone Games FPS Co-op. That's it. This logo could have been made by a five-year-old who's just learned how to use Microsoft Paint. It is the worst logo I've ever seen. There's four screenshots. Oh no, there's there's a few. No, there is just four. No video. Only two of the screenshots are from what appears to be gameplay. The other two are from a menu. This is the first page. This is the only page I've got onto whilst playing the game. We've got a 45% rating. VM World Studio. Have they made anything else? Well, I managed to find another game. Here we go. Trinits. Trinits apparently is another game they developed. Can't find that on Steam anymore, so guess it got taken off. So I'm used to finding terrible things, and look at zombies, of course it is, to get people in. I'm used to finding sort of asset flips student projects, perhaps they haven't got the experience, terrible mobile games or Bioware games, and just lazy sort of cash grabs, uh, early access trash. This appears to sort of fall into a lot of categories of laziness, possible asset flipping. I might have a look on the Unreal store, but these look like kind of Unreal Engine assets, maybe that you could buy. There's no information look about this game Malhoney 1 and FPS games in multiplayer with team system with several game mode not English you get that occasionally as well but this is just awful this is terrible uh, now I knew there was a lack of quality control at Steam that's why I sort of named my series quality control because there's so much crap gets through but I thought there was at least some kind of, you know, maybe some human element. Is this what Steam Directors bought us? How can these guys get onto Steam? Especially if they did make that other game and it got taken down. Like, look at this information. It's free to play. So what? I don't care. It's still on the Steam store page. It's taking up space from stuff that might be better. Here's the reviews. We've got these positive reviews. Oh look, one person found this review helpful. One person found it funny. I wonder if it's the developers pals. Who knows? I haven't played this game yet. I couldn't get it to load. It might be a brilliant game. It just doesn't look it, does it? I am going to try it, but... Yeah, it looks to be overwhelmingly negative. Don't play this game. It has no zombies and the game broken. Glad I didn't pay for this. Pretty crappy. Ha ha ha. Get stuck in spawn trap. Blah blah blah. So at least these people got to play it. Maybe not this guy. Where do we even begin? So. Absolute trash. Let's just look at the free to play games actually. Let's see. Because you might say it's free to play. It doesn't matter. I mean I'm not going to look at. I'm not even going to look at the, the new releases. We'll just look at the free to play games. See if, see if we can find ones that more effort has gone into than game that doesn't work, game that looks like Asset Flip, the laziest store page I've ever fucking seen in my life. Here we go, the bears and the bees, this is probably something I might have gone for. Rapid Tap, that looks like a meme game, so probably terrible, probably a lazy effort there as well, but meme -y reviews, I'm guessing for that one. We've got some... We've got some anime MMO bullshit. A lot of the stuff in the free to play is that kind of thing, or it's VR. Dummy experiments and early access thing, that looks quite interesting, if visually poor. 
So let's look at this one because this is just before. So look, Damselstone. I'm imagining this is the only game developed by them. Yeah, Damselstone just sounds like an individual. So debut adventure, blah blah blah, baby B. So there's a description. There's an, a nice description of the game. Sounds like a sort of charming adventure and hand drawn art. So we've got a bit more here. Hand drawn artwork, 2D physics. That's what that's what the game's about. You know, it's a bit about the design, the background there. A lot more effort than Mahoney one or whatever the hell it's called. And as you can see, they've got some screenshots here and a video possibly. Yeah, look, there's a video. Which has music as well. It looks like a sort of 2D puzzle platformer. With, you know, not amazing hand-drawn art, but art that appears to have had some effort put into it. Someone's drawn those, as they say. So, game doesn't look great, but it looks a hell of a lot better than Mr. Four Screenshots, Mr. Poor Grammar and Spelling, Mr. No Info. And we've got four reviews here. See, it's already got more reviews, that other game, than this little one here. Where probably a lot more effort and love has gone into it. It actually works. But the other one's got zombies and it's a shooter. So that's going to get more attention immediately. Even if it's just negative. So no one's going to play this. And it just... It pisses me off. Even if the game is good. And I just can't imagine that it is. I'm wondering what their angle is. Because there's no... There's no... Usually there's a little sneaky DLC or something. Some kind of microtransaction. To try and rinse you some cash. But... They've just dumped this onto Steam. And it hasn't got any pay for or anything. It's like, what is the point? What is the point of this? It just like it's just more shit on the on the Steam brand, isn't it really? You know polishing that turd with more shit. It's kind of embarrassing, really. I'm gonna go and try the game now. It might be amazing, in which case, oh I'll have to eat some humble pie. Not all of it, because this is still incredibly lazy. Look at that. Just look at that. You could make that. Anyone could make that. That is the laziest thing I've ever seen. Okay. We got a game. I don't know why I'm even bothering. But we got to this screen because I didn't... Maybe it was my name it didn't like. Unbelievably. Didn't like Asset Philip, so I just went for guest. Okay, we're in. Unbelievable. Right off the bat, so so brilliant. Look look at where the join is. These are waves. And a man has disappeared. I've got a hundred kills though, so that's good to know. So, are we on the moon? There's a floating box there. Brilliant. Maybe the ammo, maybe that's what they've done themselves. Oh boy. It's just geometric shapes dotted about. I've no idea what sprint is. And we're done. Okay. Let's try that one more time. Yep, yeah, it's 1v1. We're here on the same map again. So we got jump, but what is what is sprint? Okay, sprint is shift. No key remapping, obviously. Are we on another planet? So this is just an FPS. Where are the zombies? Where's the co-op? It's embarrassing, isn't it? There. Fuck you. 
So I'm guessing what they've done is they've got this oily water and this whatever it is moon map pack and then they've added these shapes these pointless geometric shapes the gun noise is really incredibly loud as well oh my goodness yeah okay and we're we're done again game over so it's just me and that one guy if it's even a guy Post room. Yeah, look. Team Deathmatch, FFA. Oh, this is embarrassing. I don't know how direct works exactly. But it seems to be even easier than green light to get your trash onto steam. In fact, I'll be quite interested to see how easy it is. I don't have any game design skills or programming skills. But maybe in a short while I could learn how to... I guess you need the money to buy the Unity assets. That's the biggest hurdle. But there's an experiment for anyone with a bit of cash. See how... How easy it is for you to get a game on Steam with Steam Direct. Just try it out. I mean, it'll be better than this. God damn it. How bland it is. I haven't spotted a single zombie in the zombie survival game. No one won this round. Even if it is an asset flipped, it's terrible. What was that positive review going on about? Credits. No, none. No credits, because no one made this. Credit goes to Unity. Oh, Players Online 2. There we go. Let's try Europe. There might be more in Europe. I think... I think this is made in Turkey. So, I couldn't pick the Europe one. Oh, okay. Wow. FOV was down to 55. That's console level. Oh my god, look at his hand. Look at the model on the hand. Oh. What's that in the distance? I mean, let's go have a look. I'll run. Look, I've got 150 kills. We're already at the edge of the map, are we? Yeah, this looks like an invisible wall. A big force field made of glass. Oh my god, that's the laziest invisible wall. It's an actual invisible wall. It's a glass... Oh, there we go. You're in the prohibited zone. Well, that's a good way to do it. I guess. If you're doing it the lazy way, the shitty way, just kill you if you go out too long. So players can't just run off into the dead zone. Yeah. Wow. Guessed 4,001. Why not just guess one? I can't imagine this many. If only I could turn the gun on myself. Oh, look. Someone's playing. He got to pick his name. Reverse. Or whatever. Reverves. Have you spotted a zombie yet? Oh, good. Wow. So even this... It's got spawn camping. This game... This game... That has no one playing it... Has spawn camping. Amazing. Well, I give up. This is garbage. This is embarrassing and garbage, as I said earlier. One for me. What a load of trash. Yeah, I think you've seen enough. I've definitely played enough. Bye.